Welcome to my Europe vlog for 2019, yay! So I'm here in Europe with my brother Will, we're doing a bit of sightseeing together and then he goes to Cambridge for a summer school and I'm going to Portugal for myself. So at the moment we're in London, we're headed to Iceland on Saturday and then we're parting ways. So yeah, it's going to be a really exciting trip. So I left Canberra at like 2.30 on Monday, which is crazy. I took the bus to Sydney airport, I flew out of Sydney, I flew to Taipei, I watched Free Solo on the plane, that was pretty good. I was a little bit delirious during my stopover in Taipei because of all the time difference and trying to stay awake to get on London time, that kind of thing. Then I flew Taipei to London which took 14 hours. My flight landed in London at about 4.30 on Tuesday, by which point I was very tired, very keen to get to the hotel which took another couple of hours. But yeah, I finally made it to London. Yay! Yay! We're in London! So first thing Tuesday we went to the London Eye. Look at the London Eye! We're going on that! Are you scared of heights? Nope. <laughs> I was really worried we wouldn't be able to see much because it was quite overclassed and cloudy, but it was a really great view, had a really cool time. I think it was also good because we went first thing in the morning, so our capsule wasn't very crowded, like it was fine. How was the London Eye? It was very cool. Yeah? Cloudy. Yeah, it is, but isn't it? The view is great. Thanks, London. Here is an announcement: shoplifters will be eaten. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God! I don't hear them. I think they're already gone. Oh, that's pretty sick. That's actually a rush. <laughs> Why couldn't Jamie be obsessed with How to Train Your Dragon? Will really loves everything World War One and World War Two, so he went to HMS Belfast, which was a ship used in the British Navy in World War Two. And even though like it's not something I'm totally interested in, the ship was actually really cool. Because the ship's about six levels, and we kept going between them to see all the different rooms. So it was a lot of really claustrophobic vertical stairs, but it was all really cool. I just wouldn't actually want to live on the ship. It's very steep, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> God, it's a bit claustrophobic, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you what happened here. And what it was like being a member of the Gun Crew, drawing on memories of the Imperial War Museum. It's not very encouraging, is it? How do you think the sailors felt? <laughs> then we had lunch in a pub. I had mac and cheese, which was really nice. We went to visit a cathedral. It was the first cathedral built in London. I think it was called All Hallows Cathedral. It was really pretty. Then I went to catch up with Caroline, a friend from high school who I hadn't seen in so long, who just graduated from Oxford, so it was really nice to see her again. So by this point in the day, it's like 7pm, so I'd already been out for a really long time. And then I went to see the light in the piazza, which was so gorgeous. I have to admit, I was very tired by that point, and I kind of crashed during the performance. <laughs> My brain kind of went, we're supposed to be in bed now. Why are we watching a musical? But the musical is really nice and I'm really glad that I went because I think in particular all the performances were really amazing, like the cast were just stunning and it was a very like classical style of musical which to be honest I don't see a lot of these days. Like it's definitely not my preferred type of musical but at the same time I was really glad I went because I don't see them a lot and the cast were all clearly very good at what they were doing. The audience were also super good, like it was a really nice audience to be in which you wouldn't think would like affect seeing a show but honestly it really does like I can still remember last year when I went to see Heathers and people were just like screaming during songs it felt like a rock concert that was awesome by the time I got home on Tuesday it was like 11 p.m. and I'd been out for 14 hours so needless to say I completely crashed when I finally got home at 11 o'clock Westminster Abbey was really nice, not allowed to take photos in there unfortunately, like obviously it's good to preserve the Abbey for as long as possible but it means you don't really get any cool visuals to see unless I take some from the internet which I'll probably do. Then we went to Fortnum and Mason's for high tea with our uncle who's actually from Melbourne and we see all the time in Melbourne but he and his family happen to be here at the same time as us so we all went for high tea at Fortnum and Mason's which was so good, oh I love high tea. It was honestly the nicest experience and like Fortnum and Mason's was this beautiful department store like all the stuff that they sell there is way out of my price range, but 
Honestly, it was super nice. The food was delicious and I was in a very strong food coma afterwards, but in a good way. Then we all went to the British Museum together, got to see some of my old faves like the Rosetta Stone and the Easter Island Head. So that was pretty cool. Then we chilled in our hotel room for a while and then we went to have dinner with some other relatives who do live here so we don't get to see them that often. It was actually Will's first time meeting them. So that was super exciting. They made us a roast, which was really nice. So we got, we had a lot of really nice food yesterday, which was cool.